Next up, I'm going to do the vent for the battery box. Vent, so it's going to be something like this. This guy to this guy to this. So that will get it so that we're taking air right off the top of the box, the hydrogen that will rise to the very top because it's light. And then this will go out to the outside and I'll probably have to put in a little extension. I'll cut this off. And then this, I'm going to put in this end, something like that. All right, here's the, here's my vent. So that fits in there nicely. But I got to get it to the outside, so I'm going to work on that for a few minutes. Okay, well, there it is, hole in the wall. So this is when you start asking yourself, hmm, was this really a good idea? And what time does the wife get home? We better get this filled in quick. I want this to be out of the wall to here. This will be in the wall. From the outside to the inside is seven inches. So I need to cut this guy and it's gonna go in this thing. Let's see, it looks like about an inch and a half. Side's gonna fit in here super tight, which is good. All right, so that's the outside. I'll just paint that the color of the house and no one will ever notice. So we know that uh, we want to vent our hydrogen. Hydrogen is very light and it will rise to the very top of this box. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm not going to glue this in. Just going to leave it in here like this. So with the vent at the top, the hydrogen gas will be vented out through the top. And the air coming in to replace that, I want to come in from the bottom down here. All right, so on the right side, I'm gonna, I want to put this in for the vent. I'm going to drill a hole and pop this in right here and then put one on the other side. There we go. Two. Nice. Okay, so I'm getting ready to wire up my vent fan, and yeah, things are a little bit of a mess because I had to take this inverter off temporarily, but we'll get back to that later. For now, I just want to wire up this vent fan. So what are we going to do? I've got 48 volts going to it's a 48 volt fan. So here, got it fused on the positive side. This goes right to the fan. And then on the negative side, instead of just having the negative go straight to the fan, I've got it going up through my PT100 charge controller through the auxiliary relay. So the middle is common and then we have normally open and normally closed on the right. And so, actually I'm not sure if that has to be on this side or the other side yet, but I can program this to turn, to switch this on voltage. So when it hits a higher voltage, we'll turn it on. At lower voltages, we'll turn it off. So that way you don't have to run the fan all the time. Um, now it's important to note that this thing does not provide power to run the fan. I'm just switching the negative uh, line through there. Okay, it's just a relay, switching the line through there. And there's probably, I forget what the limit would be, but it's probably not much volt, not much current that you can put through there. All right, that's it for the venting. Thanks for watching.